Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. Pouring with Sonia, <laughs> as in paint pouring. And um, I just tried a reverse dip um, after doing a double, I don't even know, bottle pour? I'm not sure what that is. And I have some leftover paints. It turned out interesting, fun. I did it on a record, which is a very slick surface. So with this leftover paint, I don't have a lot, but I've got an eight by eight canvas. I wonder if it'll make a difference doing it on a canvas versus a record, um, where the record is gonna just, everything's gonna sit on top. Canvas, I don't know, everything sits on top too, but I feel like it's got a little more grip and grab. I don't know. I have no idea, but I thought I'd try it. Uh, my pouring medium is completely uh, new this time. I did two parts of glue to one part this um, clear gel stain and glaze. It's a tintable base. Never used it before today, so I thought I would just give it a try. Why not? And then I mixed that two parts of this pouring medium to one part paint. I have a crimson, a vermilion, an orange, an orange yellow, prism purple, and then a little bit, not much of this left, of the, um, it's just sparkle gold um, pearl EX powder, pigment powder. So the rest of them are paints and one of them is a pigment. So let's just go. Most of my gold got lost last time. I got a little bit on the outside, but it kind of created cells. So I think I'll start with the purple and then leave the gold for the center. And we'll see, because I don't have as much. You can see I haven't even cleaned this off yet. <laughs> so the idea of this is that it's going to run down the edges of the bottom of the bottle and create this fun little... pattern and it did do that very nicely I went dark to light and I like that so I'm going to stick with that where I'm doing the purple and then the red vermilion orange orange yellow and then the gold now it's vermilion Like I didn't get very much down on this side, okay. Now the orange. And finally the orange yellow for the bright colors. And then I'm going to put some of this champagne color, kind of that gold EX. It's a real pale yellow almost, you know, because it was just that little bit of pigment powder mixed in with that very bright white pouring medium. And the pouring medium, when I had it all mixed up, is a little thick. This is it. This is the two parts glue to the one part um, tintable base gel stain. So I felt like I could get away with just mixing the gold right in with that. Okay, maybe a little bit more just to kind of put an emphasis mark if I put that dark purple. Just a little bit in the middle there. That pretty little champagne. And what I did last time, I blew down the middle to try and get all that paint out of the middle. So I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to hold my hair back, although look, my gloves aren't very clean. Hold my hair back, I'll probably just get paint in my hair. So basically, all I'm trying to do is push that paint down those trenches, so to speak. And we'll lift this up now. Ideally, what I would like, although I don't know if I didn't put a flood coat down, maybe it would absorb back towards the middle, but it sure didn't now. So I'm going to put 
a little puddle in the middle as well for the center of the flower. And this might have been my problem last time that I had too much paint because I did all this. So maybe I'll go a little lighter on this. Although I am saying that too late now. I've already got a ton of paint in the middle. And let's, let's drag some of the middle in there to kind of tie it all together. Looks so cute. And let me get some. Whoa, I almost dropped them right in the painting. Oops. And last time I just barely sprayed down. Oh my gosh, it's not unrolling for me. Oh my goodness. I just want to get two strips of paper towels off. <laughs> okay, got it. Last time I wet it very slightly. This time I think I'll just go down dry. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down. It's right on top. Tap on it just a little. Very lightly. Not too hard. You want it to make good contact with the paper towel, but... I don't want to smush it real hard. So, I wonder if that'll make a difference too, just uh, not wetting it. If it'll pick up a little. I felt like it had too much paint on it still at the end. Well, maybe it was just right and it's just my paint consistencies weren't right. It wasn't terrible, it was still cute. Although I think these pours with those little bottle pours, they're pretty cute before you even do anything to them. That's just cute. But that's a lot of paint. All right. I feel like I've tapped and tapped and tapped. So let's lift and see what we get. Ugh, too much paint. I think it's too much paint in the middle. Way too much. I think that's my problem. I mean, but that's not affecting why I'm getting this kind of weird effect. So I just am going to have to play around with some different paint consistencies. Maybe a little thicker, maybe a little thinner. I'm not sure. Let's give it a little bit of heat just to... Get out any air bubbles. That's good. And I'll come back in here where the black came out. Still kind of cute though, huh? And I can put a little bit more black paint right there where the paper towel kind of picked it up. I 
and just move these out of the way. And we'll carefully just kind of go along there. So I wonder, I like, I, I can see me having fun trying to do these and try different um, pouring mediums to get different effects with the paint. This is the first time I ever tried that uh, tintable base that was very much, very thin, like a varnish. Or uh, not a varnish, yeah, a varnish. Or a gloss, acrylic gloss. All right, so that's better. Just kind of filled in those blank spots. I don't want any bare patches. And honestly, now for the sides, I can just kind of pull some and just smooth it out here. My fingers. But I don't want to use my fingers on the top because I probably press too hard and uneven and Okay, so let's take a closer look together. And we can compare the two. It's a cute little flower. I like the colors. The middle, I wanted a little more definition in the middle, but I think it was just too much paint. So I think I need to go on Try this again with less paint in the middle. I do like how this kind of, I mean, that's not what it was supposed to do, right? That wasn't my intention, but I like it. It's cute. That's a cute little flower. The first one I did on the 12 inch record is over here. And that was a double bottle pour. So I had the smaller bottle that I used for that eight inch and then a bigger bottle on the outside of it. And so I've got like kind of two rows of those. So both of them are kind of fun. Um, let me know which one you like. Do you like the first one, the double one, this one? Or do you like the just kind of cutesy little one? Or do you like neither? That's okay too. <laughs> so at any rate, thanks for watching. I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And um, I'll keep trying new things, and hopefully we'll learn together. But until we meet again, have fun painting, everyone. Bye.